Is it possible to feed a growing population while reducing agriculture's greenhouse gas emissions and carbon footprint, making farming more sustainable? How we answer these questions is growing ever more pressing as global temperatures rise and extreme weather events bring the floods, droughts, wildfires and other disasters that threaten agriculture around the globe. Research shows that climate change is already impacting the production of food as the human population continues to grow. Farmers need a range of tools and approaches to help them both mitigate and adapt to the ravages of changing rainfall patterns, higher temperatures, new plant diseases and greater insect pest pressure the climate crisis brings. Some of these innovations already exist. They are moving beyond the realm of imagination and are emerging as a suite of flexible tools that can help food systems respond to the unique climate challenges of the 21st century. One tool is biotechnology, a combination of biology and engineering. Biotechnology borrows some of the same mechanisms that nature has used for millennia to develop healthy plants, animals, and microorganisms that are well adapted to stresses in their environment. These tools, often described as genetic engineering and genome editing, are being actively used to develop essential food crops that are more resilient to climate change and use fewer natural resources. They can often achieve results faster and more efficiently than traditional breeding methods. Corn that can germinate with little rainfall and tolerate drought. Rice that can grow in salty soil with less water and fertilizer. Cassava, a staple food for 800 million people that resists plant diseases. And cacao, the source of chocolate, adapted to grow in the hotter, drier conditions that often result from the climate crisis. Biotechnology supports practices that reduce farmers' costs and agriculture's carbon footprint through less use of tilling, pesticides and fertilizers. Studies show that farmers growing biotech crops kept 23 billion kilograms of carbon dioxide from being released into the atmosphere in 2018. That's equal to taking 15.3 million cars off the road for a year. Biotech crops have also increased yields by an average of 22% without increasing land use, which can protect biodiversity and critical carbon sinks by reducing the pressure to convert forests to farmland. But they can do more. Throughout the world, scientists and public institutions and private companies are using biotechnology to find solutions to climate challenges that just can't wait, notably in Africa and Asia, home to 60% of the world's population. Some of these improved crops are already in farmers' fields, including cowpea, eggplant and corn that can fight off insect pests. Many others are under development, like rice that can reduce methane emissions from paddy fields, grains that produce their own nitrogen cutting fertilizer use, and staple crops that deliver much higher yields through enhanced photosynthesis. Biotech crops can be successfully grown on farms of any size, and since they typically increase farmer profits by 68%, they can help smallholder farmers, including women, withstand the uncertainties of climate change. Although no single approach can solve all our climate challenges, the innovative tools of biotechnology can help agriculture do its part. And that's good news for food and our future.